Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, December 14th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's start by hopefully somewhat wrapping up a log for j We had our live stream at noon today here, Monday Eastern time. And uh, as Mick put it during the live stream, well, this is becoming a marathon. The initial sort of adrenaline kind of fades off and uh, pretty much everybody should have been sort of hit by some form of the exploit at this point. We do see a relatively quick sort of evolution of the exploits becoming a little bit more obfuscated. Also, instead of these uh, pretty much widely sort of sprayed user agents and URLs, we now have attackers trying to adapt uh, their exploits a little bit for specific software packages. Plenty of vendor advisories out there listing whether or not particular software is affected, how to mitigate the vulnerability if it is affected, and patches are certainly being released relatively quickly for most software. The one uh, to sort of point out is uh, VMware's vCenter. Uh, that one is already being exploited in sort of a more targeted fashion. We also have seen crypto coin miners uh, being uh, used quite a bit as a follow on payload. And Renato wrote up uh, one particular case that he was able to observe that installed a crypto coin miner. Also, we are seeing how several botnets and such, uh, things like uh, Mirai and uh, similar botnets are taking advantage of this vulnerability. Also keep in mind that at this point, if you're finding a vulnerable system, in particular if it's vulnerable to sort of one of the standard exploits, uh, you should assume that the system is already uh, compromised. So it's not a simple uh, matter of just patching and move on, uh, but also uh, look for some of the indicators of compromise uh, to make sure the system that you're patching hasn't already been uh, backdoored. We are planning to move back to Infocon Korean on Tuesday morning. And with that, uh, Log4j is really just becoming another sort of element of that background noise of that day-to-day -day grind that we have to deal with. In general, uh, with the Infocom, we try to race it if there is a significant change in a particular threat. And well, uh, that change was really Friday and this weekend. And uh, now again, it's really more sort of steady state as far as Log4j goes. If there are any significant developments, then of course, uh, we'll keep you informed. So with that, uh, let's talk about uh, some of uh, the, well, uh, sort of usual things. And uh, there is another Google Chrome update. And this update fixes one vulnerability that's already being exploited. Which of course makes this a noteworthy update. There are three other vulnerabilities that also received a rating of high, just like uh, the vulnerability being already exploited. And uh, finally, one critical vulnerability is also being addressed in this update. I would say let Google Chrome do its auto update thing. And as I said before, once a day, it's a good idea to just close down Google Chrome, let it start up again to make sure that you get the latest version. And then, well, uh, another sort of yet again news, we do have malicious uh, PyPy packages uh, targeting uh, Python developers. Apparently, uh, these packages are in particular trying to exfiltrate credentials from developers. Three packages were found by uh, Andrew Scott, who is an independent uh, researcher. He downloaded most of the PyPy libraries and then wrote some scripts uh, to look for sort of some standard uh, patterns that are often being used here. The one library that's sort of interesting is AWS login zero tool. And according to Andrew, uh, one reason for the odd name may be that there is a relatively popular uh, package called AWS-login-tool. And well, the dash and zero are on a keyboard next to each other. So they're probably counting on some typos here. The three packages that Andrew identified were downloaded about 10,000 times. 
Well, that's it for today. Don't want to run over my five minutes again significantly uh, today after doing this a couple times, these last couple podcasts. And yeah, don't forget, it's Microsoft's Patch Tuesday. That's it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.